What's going on guys, it's Modern, and today I'm going to be commentating over my Nugget Bridge Major set against Major Bowman for the third round of the Nugget Bridge Major. Um, if you don't know, Major Bowman is a player who has made it to both Day 2 of Nationals and Worlds in 2015, I believe. So I knew he was a very good player. Um, I was both really nervous and really excited for this match. Um, I was also pretty scared that he would counter-team me, which, uh, just looking at our teams, um, it's sort of obvious that... Um, I, like, I'm not sure if he's been using this team all season, but um, it did have a pretty good matchup against mine. Um, my team in particular is Mawile, Thunderous, Cresselia, Salamence, Evoltol, and Groudon. And on his side, he has Salamence, Thunderous, Landorus, Amoongus, uh, Xerneas, and Kyogre. So obviously, uh, he has the counterparts to my two restricted Pokemon being Xerneas and Kyogre against Evoltol and Groudon. Uh, both of those have the type matchups. Uh, Kyogre has the weather matchup. Uh, and the Genies also ha generally just had a really good matchup against my team too. So uh, I was really scared to see his team in team preview. I knew I needed to play really well. Uh, I also knew that um, whoever lost this match could actually not advance to the top cut of the Nugget Bridge Major. Given that both of us were both a 0 and 2 at the time. So I knew I really needed to win this set in order to advance to the top cut. Um... So yeah, we're just going to hop straight into the battle. I knew straight off the bat that his safest lead was going to be Salamence and Thunderous. And I figured he'd probably just bring either Xerneas, Kyogre, or maybe um, Amoongus and Xerneas in the back, just given uh, this lead that he had. Um, and then on my side, I knew that he would probably expect me to lead Cresselia, which is why I assumed that he led Thunderous. Um... I wasn't really sure why he led Salamence right here, uh, but I guess really his team didn't have too many good options. Um, Kyogre, I could just switch in and reset the weather. Xerneas, I could just threaten it with an Iron Head. Amoongus really wouldn't do too much. He would have to play around Protects on my side. Um, and then obviously a combination of Iron Head and Ice Beam, uh, potential hacks. Um, it can KO him over the course of a, a couple turns. So it really, I just knew that this was his safe lead. Uh, I also knew that all while Cresselia on my side could easily handle the Genies as well as potentially Xerneas and Amoongus. Um, and then I guess Salamence too if he wanted to lead that. Again, I'm really not too sure why he would lead it, but like I said, it was probably just his safest lead. So that's what I was expecting. Um, and then I just brought my two restricted Pokemon on the back. Two of the strongest Pokemon on my team. Also having a pretty decent matchup against most of his team, barring his, his restricted Pokemon. Um, as long as I at least had my weather up, uh, in particular. Now, coming into the first turn of this match, I knew for a fact that he would not switch out Salamence right here. If he switched out his Salamence into Xerneas or potentially Kyogre or Amoongus, and I went for a player off or Iron Head, he would be taking a lot of very unnecessary damage. Um... And then, even though he could maybe conserve the Intimidate and switch out or something, it was just so much damage that he would have taken for free, so I knew that he would most likely protect right here. Uh, so I knew that the only Pokemon on his side for this turn that I really was threatened by was the Thunderous. Um, and then obviously it has two really obvious plays. He can either Thunderbolt my Mawile, see how bulky I am, or he could taunt my Cresselia, predicting me to go for Trick Room, but... Given that he has a Moongus on his team, uh, he probably knew that I was scared of him potentially having it. So I just go for a Protect with Mawile, Ice Beam onto Thunderous. Uh, overall, it was just a super, super safe play on my side. Uh, and then he actually plays it safe right here too. Solomon's protecting, Thunderbolting into my Mawile's Protect. Uh, and immediately I'm put into a really, really great position. Because obviously, Mawile doesn't take any damage. Uh, I get to scout out if the Thunderous is bulky. Uh, and I can also just get a lot of damage off and even break his Focus Sash if he did have it, uh, which is actually what he has. Going into the second turn, I knew that he wouldn't just leave Salamence in. Um, another reason I uh, protected on that first turn was because I wanted to scout for a potential fire move. And then if he did have it, I expect he would have just gone for it the first turn. Um, but obviously since he didn't, I knew he probably didn't have it, so I was fine with just leaving him all while in right here and then going for a double up into Salamence. Um, I really was anticipating the Kyogre to come in, because if I just went for a safe play of Iron Head and Ice Beam into Salamence, he actually would have just straight up lost the game. Uh, Xerneas would be gone, Eveltol had a really good matchup against everything on his team, um, but... 
I don't know. Uh, he ended up bringing in the Xerneas. I get a double target attack into it and uh, does a lot of damage. Uh, so much, in fact, that uh, it actually puts him in range of a minus two Iron Head, which is re really, really good. Considering he has the Salamence in the back, uh, obviously Intimidate Conserved. I knew that was really important. Um, and he actually goes for a Taunt this turn, which surprised me a little bit, but maybe he knew that I sort of, uh, maybe he like didn't bring a Moongus this match. Um, but yeah, uh, probably my biggest regret right here is not going for Iron Head because um, even though he could have brought in Kyogre, it was the same deal. Um, unless he had like role play or something on Thunderous, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, as we see here, Thunderbolt does about half to my Mawile, and Ice Beam actually doesn't pick up the knockout onto Thunderous. Um, so two really big things I learned here. Uh, first of all, his Thunderous has a tiny little bit of bulk. Uh, just because my Cresselia is slightly, slightly offensive, so I know that I can, at least a majority of the time, 2-it KO um, Thunderous with fo just the standard 4 HP Focus Sash. Uh, and then I also knew that my Mawile, in particular, had a 1 in 3 chance, or sorry, a 2 in 3 chance to survive this next Thunderbolt. Um, so, obviously, if he got the 1 in 3 chance, his Xerneas would be able to get the uh, Geomancy off, if he was going for it. Um, and then that would just immediately put him into a game-winning position because obviously, um, I would just be able to, uh, or sorry, uh, because he would have the Geomancy set up, he could just double target my Cresselia, uh, and be put into a really great position. But luckily for me, uh, as we're coming up to it, I survived the Thunderbolt with 4 HP, so he actually gets one of the lower rolls, but, um, luckily for me, I knew for a fact that I had the advantage for the roll right here, um. And he did get a pretty high roll for his first attack too, so I wasn't I wasn't really expecting RNG to go in his favor. I don't know. I felt like playing Ballsy right here, uh, and it definitely turns out in my favor. Mawile Iron Head into Xerneas picks up the knockout. Uh, Ice Beam into the Thunderous also picks up a knockout, and this is obviously really great because now my Trick Room is almost uncontested. Uh, I have the Weather Control in my favor, so I can easily just switch out if I really wanted to. Um, and I really didn't have any reason to play this super risky. Uh, for this next turn, I knew that I could just uh, Ice Beam the Salamence and then Sucker Punch his Kyogre. I really wasn't expecting him to go for a Water-type attack right here, though. Uh, just because Groudon was a really, really easy switch in. And a combination of Hyper Voice and Ice Beam uh, would be... He would have to do that over two turns to be able to get rid of my Weather, too. Uh, and obviously that would mean that I could just get up Trick Room, uh, Mawile and Eveltal could really just sweep through everything else on the team. Um, so I knew just straight away this match was almost won. We still play through it though. Um, I was really surprised that he let me figure out so much information right here though. Uh, because first of all, from the uh, damage that Sucker Punch does, I know that his Kyogre is most likely not super bulky. Um, which is obviously really big because it means that he's probably a faster set and we're actually going to learn about that in the next set um, Where his Kyogre is actually I believe almost max speed um, And this is also also shown right here because his single target water spout does not KO my Cresselia um, But again, I really wasn't expecting him to go for the water type attack right here um, be Just because it was sort of risky if I switch in ground on and then obviously also because he's reveal revealing the information. Excuse me. Uh, and I mean, I guess from here, the things that I was really testing for was, first of all, uh, I wanted to only reveal one move on my side. So I just go for the Snarl, and then I switch in Groudon just in case if he goes for another Water-type attack. Um, I knew that his Salamence would probably just Hyper Voice or Double Edge into my Eveltal. Which, in either case, I was fine with because he wouldn't be able to one-hit KO me this turn without a crit. Uh, and then, obviously, Groudon switch in, gets rid of his weather, puts me in a really good position. Uh, and I believe he actually knocks himself out with Recoil right here, too. Yeah. And then, Snarl's going to be single target. Um, Kyogre is going to have minus whatever special attack if he wanted to go for Ice Beam. And this match was pretty much over. Um, and I'll actually just save you guys some time. Um... We just repeat a couple of turns where he goes for Water Spout, not trying to reveal information. Uh, I'm just going for Snarls and Protects. I don't want to reveal my Grout on set or speed. Um, so yeah, we were just both playing it safe right here with the information. And that's going to be the end of the first match, guys. Um, 
Obviously, really interesting matchup right here. I really wasn't expecting him to play as, I guess you could say, risky. Um, I would have expected him, just because the Thunderbolt was barely doing half, I expected him to actually just play safely and double up into my uh, Mawile, maybe. Maybe going for a Thunderbolt and a Dazzling Gleam, but obviously he didn't. Uh, and it ended up working out in my favor, which ended up winning me the match. Um... Now, I promise you guys, the next match, it's going to be a lot more interesting than this one. I know that uh, Mawile and Cresselia basically sweeped through this one, um, and then Eveltol just sort of finished it out. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please go and leave a like. And if you want to keep up with all of this content, go and subscribe. Check out my social media. Now, as always, guys, thanks for watching.